It's a Stitch Fix Day. Welcome friends. If you are new, my name is Meredith and I do all kinds of hauls and unboxings here on my channel. So if that sounds like a good time to you, definitely hit the red subscribe button down below and we can hang out more often. Now I need to get going on this fix because it is overdue to be sent back. So I definitely need to check out, but let's go ahead and see what came in the fix. I don't know about you guys, but life has been crazy busy lately around here with kid holiday concerts and that kind of thing. So the first thing that is in my box is a pair of boots. I did request boots. I think that was kind of the only thing that really was on my list. So these are the ones that they sent me, which I can really appreciate the larger tread on these because I live in Minnesota, as you can tell behind me. It's snowing today, it's a snow day. My husband and all three children are home today. So you may hear noise in the background. So they're lace up, but they do also have a zipper on the side. And then they've got this like faux shearling uh, detail on the back. The other one's still wrapped in tissue. So it looks like they're pretty well made. It has like a suede-like fabric. Let's see what these are called. The Alexa suede booty and they're by Violet and Red in taupe and they're a seven and a half. So we'll try these on and see what we think. They are kind of similar to a pair of boots that I already own from Stitch Fix, um, but the treads are a little bit bigger. So we'll try them on and if I can find the other ones, I think they're in the front closet, I will show you the difference. But let's get to the bundle, shall we? I think this is Stitch Fix number 94 for me. Okay, here's what we've got. So we've got like a stripey sweater, something black, more denim, which I really don't need. And then it looks like maybe, I think that I picked these for my preview. It's a pair of dress pants. So let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so it is a button down, cardigan style a sweater. It's nice and soft, a little bit thicker, a little chunkier. This one is the Pink Clover Myrtle Full Buttoned Cardigan in Off-White, and this one's in an extra large petite. So I will try that, and we'll leave it buttoned when I try it on to see what we think of the fit of that. Next is the pair of dress pants or trousers from Liverpool. This is the Kayla Pull-On Trouser in Navy. Looks like there's some tissue in here. So, nice flat front. Are these pull? Uh, it said pull on, right? Yeah, pull on. So, no zipper, does have some good stretch to it. Uh, looks like functional front pockets, and the back pockets are faux. So, nice. Like the print on there. We'll see what we think. It looks like it might. Well, I think they're going to be a little long, but we'll see how those fit. Next is the We Wander Flex Stretch Jenna Full Zip Performance Jacket in black. I think this might be the same as I, I have a light blue one that's very similar to this if it's not exactly the same. Looks like it's got some zippered uh, front pockets and it is pretty thin. So this would be more of a like late spring, uh, early fall jacket. So plain black, nothing too exciting, but a good wardrobe staple. And then last, we have a cut from the cloth, the High Rise Naomi Ab Fab Girlfriend Straight Leg Jean in a size 16. This fabric is nice and soft. So here is what it looks like. It does have the sort of washed look on the thigh, which one of you guys, and I can't remember who it was in the comment section, sorry I have not been keeping up on comments at all lately, that's my bad. Uh, did point out that when you have this like washing on part of the leg when you're a petite person, it really does make your legs look shorter. And I had never really noticed that before, but you're absolutely right. So whoever you are, whoever it was, um, thank you for pointing that out. So it is something that I'm going to be considering as I go forward when purchasing jeans. I'm pretty stocked on jeans in my wardrobe, so I'm not sure that I will keep these they would have to be amazing because the denim is is enough. Let's put it that way. It's definitely enough. So here's what they look like in the back. They do have that crinkle like right where the back of the knee would be. So nice and soft. They feel like they're going to be really comfortable. Let's do a try on and see what we think. 
I will be sure to list and uh, put the names and prices of the items in the description box below in case you're interested. But the pink clover uh, extra large petite sweater is 48. The cut from the cloth jeans that I have on are 94 and the booties are 119. So let's see what we think about this outfit. I think this sweater is cute. It's definitely soft. The sleeve length is just about right. Uh, it does have the dropped shoulder detail, which personally on a petite person, I don't know is always the most flattering. I feel like it can look like it's oversized or sloppy even, though it's not technically. Um, so I think the sweater is nice, but I'm not sure it's 100% my style personally. Let me know what you guys think. Here are the jeans. And I might have to crank you down from the booties. Hang on. Okay, let's try that again. So here are the jeans and the booties. The booties are a little bit narrow on the sole. And I feel like maybe not the most comfortable. The jeans seem to be a pretty good fit. They do have functional front pockets and functional back pockets. The length is about right. I'm gonna show you them without the booties as well so you can kind of see both ways. Cause I feel like with wearing shoes, sometimes you can scrunch the bottom of the jeans up and make it not as obvious where they hit. So let me know what you think about those, hang on. So here is the booty that I already own. And here, hold on, there we go. And here's the booty that they sent me. So very similar color, very similar shape, lace up, zip sides. One has the faux shirling, one does not. One is slightly taller uh, and it has a different colored sole with a little more stitching, but a little too similar, I think, for me to spend $119 personally. So I think I'm gonna pass on the booties. I'm thinking about passing on the sweater. Here are what the jeans look like in length. So just, just past the sole of my foot. So the length is just about perfect. And they're definitely comfortable, soft, and all of that. But again, I'm not sure that I love how light the washes across the thigh, and do they make my legs look shorter as a result? That is the question. Let's try on these trousers. So two items I would not necessarily pair together, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and show you those in together simply because of the last two items in the box is the Liverpool Kayla trouser. Those are $88 and the Wee Wander uh, Flex Stretch Jenna Full Zip Performance yada yada jacket is 78 so rather a pricey fix at 427 dollars the buy all five discount is 106.75 so the order sub total would be 320 dollars and 25 cents all right so if you're watching this on saturday which is probably when i'm going to post it i'm going to be in apple valley from noon to four at a craft show so um be sure to let me know or follow me on instagram if you want more information about that uh, but if you're in the area definitely come say hi okay so here is the full zip it really does go all the way up so it would keep your neck warm um and i'm almost positive this is the same one that i have in a really light blue i do like it it has zippered pockets for your cell phone so if you are you know going to jog or hike or whatever you can throw your keys and your phone in there and you don't have to worry about losing something along the way. And then here are the trousers. Now they are actually not terrible in length. They are a few inches too long, but not bad. And I think the fit is pretty good. Here are the pockets. I know it's a dark fabric with a dark fabric, so hopefully it's coming across for you guys. I think the fit on these trousers is not too bad. Um, I'm not sure if I need them, but I do think the fit is good. So I'm gonna watch the footage back on these simply because this is a hole in my wardrobe. I don't think I own um, anything anywhere near it and it might be nice uh, if I'm going to go somewhere 
that's a little bit dressier in the winter time and maybe it's just too darn cold to want to put on a skirt it might not be bad to have um i will also say this jacket is a contender although i do think it's a little pricey just because i think i'll get good use out of it in the slightly warmer months so let me know what you think All right, guys, definitely leave me your comments down below. I'm going to try to catch up on comments in the coming weeks, so bear with me. Um, and until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. You know I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.